You cannot create a sterile bubble around your child. Those germs are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. If people think that pertussis is gone, I can just tell them that it isn't. Every year there are cases of pertussis. I was working the after hours clinic and I walked into the room and there was this lovely three-year-old girl sitting on the table and she was coughing very harshly, very persistently. I've seen a lot of children and cough is probably the most common symptom that children come in for. And this is one of the worst coughs I have ever seen in my entire life. The cough was a staccato, sharp cough. Sounded like pertussis. I said to mom, your girl has a really, really bad cough. She said, well, she started coughing really hard. I took her to the hospital. They made a diagnosis of whooping cough. They kept her in the hospital and now I'm here. I said, so you're also here for shots? She said, yes, I got no shots for my daughter. I was homeschooling her and I determined that I was not gonna get any shots until she was gonna to go to regular school. Since I was homeschooling, I just assumed she would not be around those particular germs and it wouldn't be a problem. I should say, well, now that I've seen what whooping cough can do, I'm very concerned about any other illness she may get and I want to get all the shots. In the case of the medical treatment of a condition like this, parents often feel that, well, if my child gets it, I'll take them to the doctor and the doctor will take care of my child. As it relates to some of these vaccine preventable illnesses, and in this case, whooping cough, Antibiotics really don't do much. They tend to stop it from spreading to other people, but they don't do much in terms of treating that particular patient that has it. And at that point, you're just kind of in the hands of whatever supportive measures you can give. We cannot always treat pertussis to the point that the patient survives. The hardest thing for me would be knowing that this was preventable. This child did not have to go through this. The other thing was that this mother really did care about her child. These parents that are not immunizing do not feel that they're doing something wrong. It's almost the opposite. They feel like they're doing right. So I always try to be non-judgmental. Immunizations are safe and effective. They will protect your child the way you cannot protect your child. And heaven forbid if something happens to your child, you, you'd never forgive yourself because it was just such a simple thing for you to do to get your child his or her shots. You all as medical students understand immunization, but the population that you serve is going to have different perspectives on immunizations. It is your job as a healer to ensure that your patients, the people that you treat, get immunized. It's important for you to, first of all, feel comfortable and believe in immunizations yourself. And once you convince yourself and you understand clearly that it's myths and misperceptions that has people not immunizing, not science, then I think you can communicate that information to others. The first person to convince and to have the true understanding of the importance of immunizations is you, the healthcare provider.